there, there's this thing with ballet. It becomes like an obsession where it's so hard that you just want to be better at it. It's a very strange feeling uh, knowing that perfection is unattainable and it's strangely alluring. I grew up in Fairfield, Connecticut, which is essentially a suburb of New York City. And my teachers used to take me to the ABT Gala every spring. And that had a huge influence on my interest in ABT. So after 10 years in Boston Ballet, clawing my way up the ranks from apprentice to principal dancer, I thought to myself, I need some new inspiration. I need new motivation. I need to rekindle the fire. And ABT has always been a dream of mine. And I figure, now or never. I feel I feel like I've really gotten the best of both worlds because I got to dance rubies, I got to dance symphony in three movements, I got to dance Bella Figura and Petite Mort and the second detail. You know, I am so happy to be given to have been given those opportunities to dance those amazing ballets. And then here I am in ABT getting to do my Giselle, Sleeping Beauty, Don Q, Swan Lake, Onyegin, the list goes on, and it's just like a greatest hits of ballet. A good day as a dancer for me is a day that I feel like I've accomplished something and and worked on something that I've struggled with. So not only learning choreography, which is all day every day, uh, but overcoming an obstacle, finding a nuance that I didn't know about before within myself, uh, a way to make my acting more believable, that's a really good day for me.